Uh, hello everyone, uh, that is the third lecture of uh, Tunnel Project Civil uh, 3D. Uh, in this uh, lecture we will uh, learn uh, how to create a corridor uh, section uh, for tunnel uh, and how to create a section view. Uh, finally we will uh, compare uh, as built uh, survey with uh, design section. So we will uh, do three steps, uh, how to create corridor. The second step uh, is how to create a cross section view and uh, the final step is uh, to compare uh, design section with as built section. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, we gonna uh, learn in our uh, lecture. That is the third uh, lecture of uh, Tunnel Civil 3D project. In the previous uh, lecture uh, we learned um, how to uh, create uh, profile alignment uh, and assembly. In first lecture, uh, we learned how to create uh, a cross section uh, tunnel uh, by assembly. Uh, this is uh, assembly we created in first lecture uh, for a um, uh, circular board line. That is the first lecture. The second lecture, we learned uh, how to create uh, alignment and to create a profile uh, view uh, from um, uh, non data through text file. Now we will uh, go the, uh, to the next step in our uh, cell direction, uh, and uh, this uh, is to how to create a corridor uh, for tunnel section. So now we will create a corridor for tunnel uh, section. Uh, we create corridor from uh, alignment. Uh, profile and assembly so we will uh, create corridor uh, from this three um, input we can create corridor from this corridor corridor we will name this corridor tunnel uh, as I said before we will input um, uh, three uh, parameters alignment then profile then assembly so we, uh, we will make sure that uh, these three parameters are entered first we will, uh, we will enter alignment this is alignment, then profile, uh, that is design profile that we created, and uh, finally we will select assembly, which uh, we created in first lecture. So we can create a corridor from uh, these three parameters, alignment uh, that we created in second lecture, uh, profile that we created uh, in second lecture, and assembly that we created in first lecture. So um, our corridor is ready to create. Click OK. Uh, all parameters are specified, alignment, uh, profile, and this is assembly. So we can click OK and build our corridor. We build the corridor. Uh, now our corridor is created now. Uh, so we have finished from corridor. Uh, now we uh, we are ready uh, to create uh, section view and to compare um, uh, as built section with design section. Now we will turn uh, to cross section step. We can create uh, cross section step by sample lines. So we will now uh, create sample line for this corridor. How to create sample line? By choosing alignment and corridor.
so we'll go through for sample sample line. We will select now alignment. Okay, now we selected alignment. Uh, we should name sample line any name and in this window uh, we can select the sources that we uh, can add in this sample line the only source that uh, we can add is corridor which we created uh, before okay the sample line uh, are the positions at, at which we can create cross section so sample line defines the position uh, at which we can add cross section view uh, for example we can add sample line each uh, 50 meter so we can uh, create uh, section view each 50 meter so we will uh, define uh, sample line interval as 50 meter by this we can go through this and click by range of stations we can define a sample line interval from this uh, that is the positions uh, which ca we can create sample line uh, sample line uh, is created automatically at uh, start uh, at end and that is the uh, width of sample line that is the lift to uh, width which is 20 meter and uh, that is right width which is 20 meter uh, this width is enough to view our uh, tunnel section so we will keep uh, this value as shown uh, we can uh, change uh, sample interval from this we have said uh, we want to change this value to 50 meter so we will type 50 meter uh, we have no curve so uh, we don't need to change this value we change this value only because alignment is tangent there is no curve and we can uh, add at uh, start and at end so we define uh, the position uh, of sample line now sample lines are created these are sample line so we have finished from creating a sample line now we will turn uh, to the next step how to create section view uh, for tunnel section uh, as I said before we can create uh, section view uh, from this sample line so we will uh, create uh, section view from this sample line uh, now we have created the uh, sample lines uh, we will create uh, section view from this sample uh, line we can create section views from this section views and then uh, create multiple uh, views in this window we will select the input parameter which are alignment and sample line in this we select alignment uh, and uh, sample line group next in this window we'll define uh, the layout uh, at uh, which we can uh, input our uh, section views no need to change next in this window we can define uh, the right offset and the left offset uh, of our cross section uh, which uh, define uh, the width of cross section and we can change it to fit our uh, section view width 
next elevation range uh, we can um, set our elevation range uh, to fit our uh, section view no need to change next and uh, this uh, window we, uh, we have to check uh, that uh, our corridor is activated so our corridor is activated ok next data bandes will make it uh, offset only we have finished we click uh, on create section views and we will insert it in blank space Uh, now uh, uh, we have finished from creating section view uh, as you see uh, that is section view uh, in uh, vertical axis uh, elevation are shown and the horizontal axis offsets are shown so uh, a for uh, cross section of uh, our tunnel uh, board uh, section are created from zero to end station which is uh, 435 so the section is uh, created for all and and there is a note uh, there is an important note that uh, the entered elevation of this cross section or elevation of uh, profile uh, the elevation of profile represent uh, the elevation of uh, center of tunnel so the elevation of uh, profile represents elevation uh, of um, center line of tunnel which represents center of uh, tunnel cross section And now we will turn to the last step uh, which is uh, to compare the design section with a built section uh, this is uh, as built uh, of uh, tunnel section and we want to check uh, this section with design section we want to compare this section with design section no? So we will um, add the sample line at this station or at this point. We will add sample line. Select alignment. We will add the sample line at um, mention section. at this point we'll uh, define uh, uh, left swatch width with, uh, which is 20 meter and right swatch width uh, keep it uh, as 20 meter ok so some line uh, for comparing the section is added now we will uh, create section view from this sample line create section view create section view uh, we'll uh, insert it in any blank space so that is the design section uh, of uh, our uh, comparing section now we will uh, add as built section uh, to this section view to compare it with design section uh, we can add as built section uh, to this section view by projecting uh, the point of this as built to section view um, as you see uh, this is um, 
uh, point group of uh, as built uh, section and you want to project uh, this point uh, to our uh, um, sample line uh, to compare as built section with design section so uh, we will add uh, these points to the sample line to um, add this point to section view so we will we'll cl uh, click on section view uh, which we want to add uh, bo uh, points of as built and we will click uh, project objects to view Uh, now we will select all points of as built by a window we should select all points through this window now we have selected all points of as built we click enter and we will click ok to add these points of section view So now uh, we have um, design section and as built section. This is, uh, these are points of as built and uh, this is design section. We can compare uh, this as built with design section. Uh, but uh, labels are uh, very large. We can uh, uh, small uh, this label uh, by scale. So points now are uh, shown. Uh, we can um, add a circle through this point and compare this circle uh, with uh, design section. So now we will draw uh, a circle that uh, passes through uh, the, uh, the uh, points. Uh, but uh, in civil 3D circle uh, is created through uh, three points so we will choose uh, random three point mm. we will choose points that represent uh, as built section so now uh, we have as built section and, uh, and we have uh, design section now we can compare uh, the, uh, this as built section with design uh, section um, uh, by drawing a circle which passes through uh, points of as built so we can compare um, design section with as built section we have finished the room section view that's all. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.